Hi, my name is Gerald Simon. I'm the president and founder of Music Motivation. And every week I come out with a brand new cool song as part of my annual subscription that I've created for piano teachers and piano students. I wanted to teach music theory the fun way through original cool sounding piano solos that the students can play along with minus tracks I've created. So right now I'm going to play Synthesis. This is the new song for the week. And this piece is actually an early intermediate level piano piece. The weeks are, are categorized according to first week being the easiest, primer, beginning level, and then they get more difficult until we get to the last week of the month, which is advanced. So let me play this, and then I'll explain more about it. So that is Synthesis, the cool song for this week. The chord progression is using the C major chord, then we go down to the G major, the F major, and then we go back to the G major. And we follow that progression just a little bit, but we change it up, and I'll explain more about that. Right now I'm going to play the same piece at practice speed, where we cut the speed in half. To have the students play it at performance speed is wonderful, but they need to work up to that. So. I'm going to play it right now at practice speed and then I'll explain more about this.
So that is synthesis slowed way down. We cut the speed in half is what we did. And I like to have the students practice at practice speed and work their way up to performance speed. Now this chord progression that I had talked about before, you can explain it as Roman numerals if you want, or you can just call it by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It essentially is the chord progression built from the C major scale, and right now, watch this, this is C major, then D minor, which is 2, E minor, which is 3, F major, 4, G major, 5, A minor, 6, B diminished, 7th, and C major. Well, in the exercise, we are doing 1, then we go to 6, so C major, then we go to 6, which is the A minor, and then we go to the 4, which is F major, and then we go to the 5, which is G major. So we follow that chord progression, and then halfway through the piece, we actually change it up just a little bit, where we actually start with the 6, and then we go to the 4, and then we go to the 1, and then we go back to the 5. And I use those chords, but I changed them up a little bit. So now the practical application. Every week I come out with this cool song that students can download the PDF and they can watch the videos and download the minus tracks they can play along with each week. And it's fun for them to play, but I want them to learn something in the process. So what I challenge students to do with this piece is to take that chord progression and create music of their own. Again, we started with one. And then we went to 6, then we went to 4, and then we went to 5. Look at my left hand. I'm doing an octave interval. That's all I'm doing. My left hand is playing the octave interval, and my right hand is playing the basic chord, the triad, the three note chord. Now I can play around with that. I can do any inversion. An inversion is where you take the three notes in our triad chord, like C major, C, E, G, and you change the position of the notes. C, E, G is root position. E, G, C is first inversion. G, C, E is second inversion. So I can use that same chord progression and change the position of those chords by inverting them. So this would be root position to first inversion. Then I go to A minor, root position to first inversion, F major, root position to first inversion, G major, root position to first inversion. Well, what if I wanted to do first inversion to second inversion? Instead of starting here, I would start here, but I could bring my hand down here. is not too difficult to do, but I want the students to take the theory that is being taught in this video and the new cool song of synthesis and play around with it. Create something of your own using this chord progression. And you can do one, six, four, five, or you could do six, four, one, five, or you could change it up any order you want using those four chords. What if we did four, one, six, five, what if we did five, one, four, six? So I'm changing the order of the chords. I hope you have fun with this new cool song of the week, Synthesis, and have fun learning the chord progression of one, six, four, five. And take those chords, those four chords, and play around with them. Play them in any position, inversion, play them in any order. Start with the one, go to the four, start with the five, go to the six. Practice playing around with the chords and see what you can create. Everyone can arrange and compose and create something of their own as long as they have the tools and know how to do it. I hope you have a wonderful week. If you have any questions at all, you can visit my website, musicmotivation.com. My contact info is there. My email is Gerald Simon, J-E-R-A-L-D-S-I-M-O-N, at musicmotivation.com. I'd love to hear from you. 
you can visit my YouTube page, youtube.com slash Gerald Simon, and you can watch all the videos I have on there of previous cool songs. Every week I come out with a new cool song. And I also have additional tutorials, Theory Tip Tuesday videos that I create and come out with. I do a lot of assemblies and workshops with schools and music teachers, music teacher associations. So many times I will film those and I will share them on my YouTube page for those who are not able to attend so that they can still glean the information and the knowledge that I'm sharing with the other individuals. I hope you have a wonderful week. Have fun. That is what the piano is all about. Enjoy yourself, make music, and have a cool time doing it. That is why I wanted to create these cool songs. So it would be cool. It would be fun and enjoyable for the students. Have a wonderful week, and I look forward to seeing you next Friday. I'll have a cool song coming out next Friday, and I think you'll enjoy it. Look forward to seeing you next week. Practice this.